the peace has to be first of all found inside and then it manifests outside. Welcome to a stress management workshop through Sahaja Yoga Meditation. In this program, we can learn how to meditate. This simple and effortless technique can help bring balance, peace and love into our daily lives. In a world which is growing so fast on the outside, with rapid changes in science, technology and communication, keeping up with this fast pace of life is a constant struggle. Society pushes us to attain wealth, power and success along with a great personal and family life. We are in a constant pursuit of our material goals and personal strivings. These factors create stress. As per a professor of cardiology, stress is the individual perception of losing control of his or her own life. It is a mismatch between expectations and reality. Continuous efforts to cope with such situations have adverse effect on the human body and may lead to many physical and psychosomatic diseases. Worry, stress, anger, greed and ego irate the nerves of our body and overload the energy centers of our autonomous nervous system. Science can measure the various parameters of the body such as heartbeat, blood pressure etc. to find out the state of the system. It can even explore the series of events which have caused the diseased state but has no rational explanation as to why it happened. The reason is that we have ignored the existence of an inner subtle system in every human being. We have limited our understanding of the human system to a mere network of nerves and sensory organs that interprets the outer physical world. There are many conventional ways to overcome the edginess inside us. Setting goals, humor, exercise, music, cutting on caffeine and nicotine, nutritious food and many others. But why is it that we are not able to continue the above methods for too long and discard them as soon as we get temporary relief, only to get trapped in the problem again? It is not the external events that are stressful, but our perception of them. Thus, stress may be viewed as an inner phenomenon rather than an outer event. When we attempt to manage stress, by using these conventional methods, we are simply trying to control one mental process with another. To be stress-free, we only have to look within and shift our focus from the external environment to the internal makeup. The only way to fight stress is to be in complete balance. What we thus need to do is to take some time off and look within ourselves. Sahaja Yoga meditation is a natural living process, a peaceful and enjoyable state which can be experienced by anyone who desires it. Through Sahaja Yoga, we can feel the existence of an inner subtle system of channels and energy centers. This inner subtle system looks after our complete physical, intellectual, emotional and spiritual being. It is a form of meditation which helps us achieve this self-awareness in a very simple and easy manner. Every day we see seeds sprouting, flowers blooming, fruits ripening, but we do not think how it happens. There is a power that does this work. The only way to feel this power is through the instrument within us. However, no instrument is useful unless and until it is connected to the means. We may not know our potential, our beauty, but once this connection with the mains is established, we will be surprised at the dynamic results of our own personality. At the outset, we have to understand that this connection is not mental. This connection can only be made through an evolutionary process, an experience 
which forms the basis of Sahaja Yoga. This is the last step in our evolutionary process which has to manifest through our central nervous system. When the fetus is about 2 to 3 months old in the mother's womb, columns of rays of consciousness pass through the brain to enlighten it. The shape of the brain being prism-like, the column of rays falling on it gets refracted into three diverse channels corresponding to three aspects of our nervous system. The right sympathetic nervous system or Pingala Nadi, the left sympathetic nervous system or Ida Nadi and the parasympathetic nervous system or Sushumna Nadi. This subtle energy enters through the centers in the brain and precipitates on its way to six more centers called chakras which is also called plexus in medical science. The residual energy then settles down in three and a half coils in the triangular bone, medically called the sacrum bone, placed at the end of the spinal cord. This energy is known as Kundalini. The fundamental of this living force is self-organization, self-regeneration and ascent. Through self-organization, it sustains and protects. Self-regeneration is its innate ability to renew, heal, balance and recycle. Ascent is its capacity to transcend the mind and myth and attain collective consciousness. If our attention is always lost in unfulfilled desires, and in the past, then our left channel is under pressure. These types of people become very emotional, conditioned and daydreamers and their left channel becomes weak. Similarly, if a person becomes a workaholic, not enjoying his day-to-day -day life, his right channel comes under pressure. Such types of people become very egoist and do not listen to anybody. In such unbalanced extremities, Stress is created in the human body.